Okay, it's a little sketch of ice today. Still about three inches thick, but it's warm, so it's not got the strength the other as the other day. But I'm making my way along and it's so clear today. I can actually see the brookies, like big schools, five, six, seven, ten, skating out from the shallows. So I'm gonna walk along here, keep the camera rolling, and see if we see any more brookies if you can see it on the camera. Okay. We'll just keep it rolling and see if we see any here. This is awesome because you can see all the structure, logs, what time of weeds are, what type of weeds are down there. So you can really pick your spot now. These fish might be pretty spooky today. I saw they swam off. Yesterday we had some slush on here. Which kind of blocked out the the movement so today I might have to actually set up my tent look at all this cool stuff underground what is this beaver tunnels or whatever who knows logs under the ice now that I got the camera I don't see any more fish swimming off adventures and I uh, came out here yesterday it was raining I wasn't sure if the ice would hold up but I decided I saw it and we got down to zero last night so I figured well I'll try looks like the surface froze up just a little bit but the ice didn't really deteriorate much more than when I went off last night it's only supposed to get to high of two today so I figured well I'll come out and see if it's safe well I made it out here and uh, the whole ice is clear you can see through I can see the fish scooting off and I got down to the south end where I was fishing and this whole corner still has this slushy frozen stuff which blocks out the light and uh, kind of obscures your presence on the surface of the ice and sometimes when you're out ice fishing and there's like a layer of snow or something that changes the light penetration that's where the fish like to congregate so I'm hoping that's true today and that the fish have really pushed into this south end here especially with a little sun peeking through and maybe we'll get on some fish so stick around and see how we do I'm gonna put the jaw jacker to use while I set up the tent and I'll try to get some underwater footage today and uh, fishing in uh, looking through a hole uh, in the ice which is a uh, side fishy of course so let's get to fishing and see how it goes Setting up the jigging jaw jacker is easy. I just use a seven millimeter tungsten jig from Circle Tackle. Uh, chartreuse, white, pink are all good colors for trout. And I tip it with, you know, a very small piece of night crawler, like one centimeter long is usually all you need. And because uh, you don't want it to be too long, otherwise it sticks out and the fish will grab the worm especially in this lake where they're pretty finicky, they'll grab the worm and miss the hook because they just grab that little tail end that sticks out. So just gather a bunch of worm up on that hook there and that will be perfect, okay? For this uh, setup, I'm using the jaw jacker rod. Uh, this one is the, let's see, what size is it? 29 inch long. So this one is good for trout, has a really stiff backbone for a good hook set, but it's flexible enough to let the fish play if you got a good one. The key is the drag. You want it to like, you know, set the hook, but you want them to be able to run. So, you know, put like a, I don't know what that is, like a two pound, three pound drag on it, just to keep the hook pinned, right? And to get a good hook set. If you want to set the depth, just put it down to the bottom, grab the line from the rod where you want it off the bottom, and then crank it up. That's an easy way to set the depth. Put the loop in the trigger holder, flip up the bail, and then this is when you gotta be really careful. I usually make this a little bit heavier on the tension, wing nut tensioner, because uh, the jigger will move it and set it off if it's not, if it's just feather light. So there you go, then you turn it on, and we're fishing. I put the bell on to catch my attention. I don't put it at the end, because if you put it at the end, when it sets off, it'll go flying and never find it again. Just put it in the middle. That way it doesn't make as much uh, ringing when it's moving, but it still makes a good jingle when the fish hits it. Okay, let's catch a fish, huh? This 
Sean. Look at Sean, what we got? Little rainbow. Little rainbow. At least there's fish around. There we go. First fish. First rainbow. Gone. I don't know if you can see, but we got the tent set up now. And we're on a drop off. You see, we got weeds right to the left and sand dropping down to the right. And we're right on the line, basically. And yesterday, this spot was really good. They kept coming through all day, so we'll see if they come by today. And so it, it's about five feet up over there, and about eight, nine feet down there. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Well, it looks like a different day. It was cloudier and raining yesterday and had a weather system coming through and fish were pretty active through the day. Today it's warmer and super calm and a little warmer. So I'm suspecting it's like a high pressure system and there's no fish moving. So that's no good. So that means I have to move. I was walking out this morning, this is when I, where I saw the brook trout and I was walking back and they're still here. So I figured ice is super sketchy. You can see it cracks every time I step, but uh, it's pretty warm out. There's about three inches of clear ice, but it's really soft. So a little risky being out here, but I'm really shallow water and I have picks on. So I'll just jump out. Problem is these brook trout can actually see you. So they, they swim away when I, when I come by. So I found a few spots where they're really congregating. And right now I put a jaw jacker right on that spot. So I'm going to leave it there for a bit. And then if that's not working, then I'm going to grab my jigging rod. And I'm going to give it a try. But for now, I put that one like right where the brook trout were sitting before, like five or six of them, good ones. And then further up, there were some even bigger ones, like giant brookies, but lots of fish swimming around this area. Oh, we got one. Look, we got one already. We got one there already. Look at that. Under the ice. Isn't that so cool? You can see him fighting. You can see him fighting under the ice. Jacker, that was quick. Once you find the fish, and it's fish on. Get rid of, oh, came off. That's okay. We'll get another one. I'm sure there'll be more. See, so just set the jig and jaw jacker. Walk back from the area because they can see you. And then just let the jig and jaw jacker do its work and they'll catch the fish. Oh. 